To quote a good friend of mine, yo, what is up, YouTube? <laughs> Uh, I'm not actually going to open that way. It's me, SilverShadow57, here on my own this time. This is going to be a solo video. Because, you know, the first video we ever posted on our channel was of uh, my brother showing you guys how to install the uh, Portal Gun mod. And I kind of wanted to do it, do a video on my own. So, here I am. Uh, so, let us begin. Whoopsie. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you server admins and ops and basically anyone with any modem of authority on a server how to use those helpful little things called regions. Yes, um, for those of you unfamiliar with the term, a region is a group, is a selection, like a world edit selection, where th certain things can or cannot happen. You can stop TNT from exploding, fire from spreading, that sort of thing. So, to first of all, before we get started, you're going to need a checklist. First of all, you need a server. Duh. Second of all, you're going to need the World Edit plugin, and third of all, you need the World Guard plugin. I can give the links in the description for you guys. Anyway, so to get started, first of all, I'm going to start from the very beginning. You need a slash slash wand, which is this thing. Um, and I okay, before I actually get started, I want to all you people out there are like that beacon isn't working. I could care less. Okay, I just needed some valuable stuff to protect. So, so there. You know what? I think I may have figured out what's wrong with it. No, I didn't. Okay. Oh! Oh, I caught it! Okay. So, to get started with your uh, with your region, you need to select what you want to do. Um, let's say if you're, like, protecting the spawn, uh, and you've got, like, diamond blocks and lapis lazuli blocks in this awesome castle you don't want people to steal, you need to region protect it. So this is a very helpful little skill. So you're going to select it like I just did, and uh, to make sure you get everything, do slash slash expand space vert. Now, what that just did, it uh, expanded the selection to bedrock, to sky, all the way up and down. So everything in the selection is um, selected. Yeah. So now you're going to do slash region, space, define, and we're going to, and then you name it, I'll do beacon. So now that is now protected from modification from others. Oh, wow. I don't remember it doing that. That's cool. So now what it's going to do is, um, I don't even think it's going to let anybody go through it that's not a moderator. Um, what that the what that did is it made it a region. Now, so you've got a region. So what? Now, if you want to keep people from doing anything in it, you're going to do region flag, and the name of your whatever your region is, beacon, and uh, there's a bunch of different flags. We're going to do, let's do TNT, and you're going to do deny. See? So now TNT cannot and will not explode in your region. Yay! No explosions. Now no one can touch my beacon because it's mine. Um, there's a bunch of other different flags. I'm not going to do them all, but I'm going to do the main ones. There is a flag greeting. Now this, what this is going to do, whoops, I got to do beacon first. Uh, ah! Okay. Now what the greeting flag does is uh, when people walk into the region, it's going to tell them uh, that they've in it. They're going to give them whatever message you put in. So I'm going to do hello, welcome to... The beacon. Bum, bum, bum. With like three exclamation points. Look at that. Okay. So, now watch. When I walk into the region. Hello, welcome to the beacon. Uh, I think it even works with uh, color codes. So, if you wanted to do something fancy schmanchy, you can do like a. Uh, and... Wow, what happened? Work. Okay. Uh, if you wanted uh, something fancy, you could go to, you do like, and seven. And, uh, I hate color codes. They don't work. Anyway, uh, basically, if you want to figure out the color codes, that's the um, greeting. There's also a farewell flag. It's basically the same thing. Agent flag, beacon, farewell. And then set it to whatever you want. You are now departing from the beacon. So now you go into the beacon, and you go out of the beacon. See? So it'll tell them uh, what it is. And there's a bunch of different flags. Like, watch. Region, flag, 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 beacon. I'm just going to type in something random so it gives me the error message. Okay, see? There's like a million. If it would, There's like a million. See? Pass through. That means people aren't going to even be able to go into the region. Build, construct, self-explanatory, PvP, chest access, pistons, TNT, lighter. There's a bunch. 
You can stop mobs from spawning. You can stop endermen from griefing, I know. Uh, ghasts and creep. You can stop ghasts, creepers, and withers from blowing anything up. Uh, you can make it so people can't get past a certain hunger limit. They can't feed themselves more or they can't go under a limit. You can stop lava from setting stuff on fire or flowing the, and for water. And you can even uh, set lots that are buyable. I'm not quite sure how that works. But if you want to, let's say I wanted to sell this tiny little region here. Oops. Region define buy. I'm going to do region flag buy. And buyable, I'm going to say true. Okay. So I'm not quite sure what you're going to do with that. Maybe it's like slash buy. No. Uh, you guys can figure that out. I'm just showing you guys how to protect something. Um, and if... Whoops, guys. I completely um, forgot to mention that uh, when you're flagging a region, you can't just always do deny or allow. There are different types of flags. There's um, uh, there's a Boolean flag, which is like a number, which is like a yes or, which is like a yes or no thing. So... Um, You'll get the types of uh, uh, flags on the wiki, which I'll also link. But there's Boolean, there's the Allow Deny, and then there's String, which is like the greeting and farewell. Um, you know, it'll, t it'll it's like a, a string. Uh, in computer language, that's a, a phrase or a word or something like that. There's the Allow Deny, there's Booleans, there's um, like a... Well, I, I, I think that's all of them. There might be a couple others that I've forgotten. But just keep in mind that not all flags are alike. They all have different value uh, data values that they need. By so, default, yeah. nobody who does not own the region will be able to break anything in it. Um, but if you add a new op that uh, you want to... Uh, excuse me. If you, want, if you add an op that you want to give access to the region, you're going to just do region add owner and then type in their name. I'll just do mine even though I already own it. Too few arguments. Oh, I always forget the ID. It's annoying. Be gone. Boom. Okay. So you do re and then if you want to see everything about the region from flags to owners, do region info and then the name. And uh, see, gives me the region name, the flags that I've set, the owners, and the members. That's new. And the bounds. Um, basically, that's all you need to know about regions. I know it's very simple, but, you know, honestly, I had a hard time getting used to it, and a YouTube video really helped me, so I wanted to repay the favor. So there you go. You are now officially a region. Not an expert, but um, with practice, you'll get better and better, and you can look at different flags, and it's really helpful. You can stop people from blowing your stuff up. It's really nice. So, yeah. That's about it, I think. Yeah, list. Oh, you can get a list of all the regions you've got. You can remove owners. Oh, yeah, to remove owner, you just do region remove owner uh, from beacon and then type in whoever you want to. You don't actually have to. It's not case sensitive for owners. You can just type it, you know, with nothing. Uh, I'm not going to do that because then I won't be able to do anything. And then priorities are just to keep your um, regions, you know, in load, in, uh, in what am I doing, in, uh, in order. You can set teleport points so that they can TP, so that you can do like region, region teleport, and then to the region you want. It really, it's really handy. So anyway, go forth, use the beak. Uh, oh wow, use the regions to make your service even better and protect people from cheating and using their little griefy tools. Get their greedy little hands on your diamond blocks. So enjoy and thank you for watching.